Jamie Lucky, Jerry Heater, Tony Giazza presiding. The Orange in the Orange. These two teams meet for the 120th time. Griffin off the curl, 18-footer is Cash. Nice little curl play for Griffin. And you notice that for Pittsburgh, they've got to get back in transition. One of the things about Syracuse, they've got five guys. You see Guria knock down that jump shot. Syracuse is a team averaging about nine threes a game, and there's the first of the day from Gary A. Get those uncontested shots. Jeffress kicks it, and finally the Panthers have a bucket. If he'll short knock down the three. Four threes or more in three different ball games this year. His other five games, he only has two threes total. Bayheim has missed his last couple from outside, so he takes it inside, spins and scores. Griffin, after a dribble. Garrier on the glass, blocked by Brown. Perseveres and has a chance for a three-point play. Champagne didn't get the call. It was Courtney bumped into inside. Xavier Johnson knocks it down. Wow, for you to get some rhythm. It's a totally different feel practicing versus getting together chemistry-wise, especially talking about getting Justin Champagne back. Dola a little teardrop from the baseline goes. A few days after his coach said we need him to try and score, Dola has five points in the first ten minutes. Extra pass to Hort, and he buries his second three of the half. Going back to Biot before the ACC and what they've been able to play against in the matchups. Turn around, Griffin knocks it in. Again, you see Koulibaly down there trying to muscle his way in there. Swallowed up by three Syracuse defenders. And they've got guys that with long even how about the steal by Tony? Adis rejected by Richmond. Play with a chip on their shoulder. And I think obviously having him out there added a lot to them. You see nice offensive rebound by Tony. And that's one of the things that Pitt was able to do. 933 had 20 offensive rebounds. And Syracuse fans have flashbacks with Tony getting the stick back. Strong take there, though, by Garrier, who's got 10. Uh, only four offensive rebounds, and you see Ger Gerard come up with what looks like a steal, but able to get back by Johnson. Bad entry pass and an even worse tip. And there's three for Tony. Defensive possession by Pitt, forcing that shot up by Beheim. And then Johnson draws contact and puts it in. Garrier makes it, sets it up for Griffin, knocks it in. Nice set up by Garrier because he was able to penetrate, force the help, and swings it around. It's Tony, and Champagne on the glass tips it in. And, and that shows me that he's starting to get his legs underneath because that's what you get from Justin Champagne. Johnson straight away comes up short, but again an offensive rebound for Pittsburgh. This time Noah Collier, the 6'9 freshman. And from the free throw line, it's Tony. Tony missed a couple from the line, so it stays a three-point game for Syracuse. And Olajai off the dribble. That was magical. Allow him to be able to make a move. You and Jim Beheim thinking similarly, and Olajai banks it in. Hort gets it to the high post. Jeffress, nicely done. And again, nice recognition by Horton. Get inside and force them to move. Good time for Pittsburgh. Jefferson struggling, shooting the ball. Strong take by Gary A. He's got a dozen in the first half to lead the way. Also head around the ACC and review the first half with highlights and stats. Beheim goes inside. That's pretty. Nice shot by Buddy Beheim. All of them from the starters. Most of them from Gary A. Dolajai and Griffin. Nice move, Champagne takes it strong. Dolajai attacks on the dribble, his kickout pass was awkward. And the loose ball is going to come to the front court where Johnson tips it to Tony. Great ball movement again, and it's Koulibaly laying it in to give Pittsburgh the lead. Gerard with one, Beheim with two. Dolajai, here's the good dish in great position. For Garrier continues. Syracuse, four different guys with two fouls. Koulibaly with three and a couple other Panthers with two. And there's the triple from Alan Griffin. They have more lead changes in this game than Pittsburgh's had all season long. 
Panthers have only had seven lead changes in their eight ball games, and another lead change there is the three. Good for Horton. Imagine that last one wasn't the final lead change of the day. Oh, great anticipation by Bayheim. And now four on one the other way. Looking up high, two orange there. Great defense by Buddy Bayheim being able to steal that pass. And again, you talk about going back and forth. Jim Penny with the answer. Griffin had it ripped away. Champagne going to take it all the way for the show. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to let you know I'm feeling better now. Any questions, Coach, about my knee, I'm going to let you know that. And back and forth, and what better way to let everybody know that I'm back is to go ahead and put the poster. Justin Champagne is letting you know I'm back at it. You watch that zone, and then you see for Pittsburgh, penetration by Johns. But watch Champagne lurking behind there. You see Horton, Horton with another three. With 15 minutes remaining. Oh, great running of the baseline, and Kula Bowley found Champagne. That was wonderful. Quickest possession length average of any ACC team. They average about 15 seconds per possession. Horton knocks down another three for Pittsburgh. Here's Griffin, doesn't get the bounce, and Justin Champagne pulls down his ninth rebound in his return. Oh, great feed, Tony from Johnson. Oh, a blur, Johnson to Champagne. Oh, oh, not two in one game, Evan Leffler. Are you kidding me? You talk about being able to, and the dimes, and how about the dime, and then... Justin Champagne says, Merrick Dolezal, welcome to my poster. Get up by left. Ball to Gary A. And find. Oh, there's Quincy. Gary A. Strong too. And that's why I think how they get back into this game is that. Champagne has 16 for Pittsburgh, along with 11 rebounds. Oh. There's another oh, rebound you, and a louder oh, stuff. Oh. Take another look. In fact, take three. So obviously, if you're uh, Pittsburgh, you know, you want to send somebody to the glass. And you see Justin Champagne. No one box him out. Gives him a free run at the rim. And again, I see him go sky high. But it picked up the foul. Griffin makes a pair. And it's back to a nine-point game. Good defense that time by Dolajai. And a nice outlet for Griffin for two. Probably needed the double clutch right there. No. Big guy, you go right up with that. Richmond to Dolajai. And timeout called for by Jeff Capel. Orange looking for some second chance points here. Get it back to Quincy, and he takes it strong at Champagne. Pittsburgh with the clock winding down. Shot clock at five for Horton, who puts it in. Plus the foul. Pitt has done a good job of putting the Syracuse zone on their heels and keeping in constant motion. Griffin fakes it, takes it. Makes it. Oh, to Cali for Xavier. For three. They're going to count the basket and call a foul on Pittsburgh in the rebound action. Look at the length of Pittsburgh they have on the perimeter. You see a nice little play. Bayheim for two. And, and to be honest with you, Evan, I think that that's what Syracuse needs to do. You need to run Buddy Bayheim off more screens. To keep an eye on is Joe Girard. He's on the bench right now. Another offensive rebound for Champagne. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He's right. <laughs> uh, the lefty it. stick back. That was ridiculous. And you see Bayheim come with Miss too, three. Too strong. Outlet ahead. Johnson detonates. Wide open. Johnson takes it. Not this time, but another offensive rebound. Oh, to Cali. Back up and in. The strength. The power. Being able to penetrate and go high-low has been successful for them. Or finds his spot. Nothing but net. 20 points for Hort. That guy has been the, the pleasant surprise because he opened it up with his three-point shot making ability. You see... Finally, Griffin knocks one down. Griffin knocking one down. And you see Syracuse extending their pressure. One of two for Oda Cali, but he made the important one. Quick shot the other end from Griffin. Four minutes left to go. The clock is your friend. You run your offense and be patient. Oh, somehow Oda Cali squeezed the pass to Koulibaly, who gets the bounce. Or the three bounces. Back up by 15. 
Pittsburgh has scored 50 in the second half. That one stays down for Richmond. So Kadari Richmond, after three misses, gets his first bucket. And again, got to get a stop. Koulibaly moves it. Otakali buries it. A lot of that has to go with how Pitt has been able to dominate this game on both ends of the floor. As you see Alan Griffin come up with a, another basket. Thing that comes off of the defensive board, Justin Champagny, is making sure that he goes and gets his hand on it. It's like he's got magnets in his hands. Champagny at Dolajai again. And Pittsburgh with a season high, 90 points. Syracuse again attacks quickly and scores. They're one of the tops in field goal defense and three-point field goal, but then they struggle sometimes to shoot the ball from behind the arc. And you see all these Tony throw one up there. Everything's going in now. And to be able to pull off an impressive victory today. Chase Smith unable to connect, but an offensive rebound for Adam Fish. And that'll do it. Pittsburgh blows out Cuse in the second half. 96-76 the final.